very nice kabla niingie kwenye kipindi ningependa kukuhimiza na kusisitiza ya kwamba ku watch kipindi yangu kama haujapiga subscription una risk kuuma kokoto kwa ndengu that said let's roll wakurugenzi mwaka wa 1944 mambo mengi yalifanyika among the things that happened kuna moja ambayo ilitingiza vichwa vya habari pale uh, state ya South Carolina ni mtaa ambayo ilikuwa a very racist state at the time 1944 kusema ukweli mtu ambaye alikuwa hana ngozi nyeupe alikuwa hana haki whatsoever ukiwa hauna ngozi nyeupe hauna haki ya kufanya kazi zingine ukiwa hauna ngozi nyeupe ulikuwa hauna haki ya kumix na watu wenye ngozi nyeupe ulikuwa kama hauna ngozi nyeupe hauna haki ya kufanya vitu basic kama voting sababu ya ngozi yako 1944 eh, kwa fields pale kwenye viwanja kuna wasichana wawili walikuwa round zao pale mmoja anaitwa Betty mwingine anaitwa June wako pale wanacheza tu kwenye fields wanacheza wanasikia fiti wanafurahi wakiwa katika pilka pilka zao wakakutana na kijana mdogo wa miaka 14 rangi nyeusi anaitwa nani anaitwa George Stini so George Stini akaona wale wa rembo akawasalimia kwa unyenyekevu na akaendelea na safari zake sababu kuonekana wewe kama nyeuthi ukiinteract na mtoto mzungu ho ho wewe tafraya So George Stini akawasalimia kwa roho safi na akaendelea na safari yake hata kuangalia nyuma akaendelea kabisa. Wasichana wakaendelea na shughuli yao pale kwenye kiwanja. Lakini usiku huo wakingojewa nyumbani hawakuwasili. Of course wazazi pandemonium it's a panic. Wanashindwa wasichana wameenda wapi? Where are those two sisters? Wametafutwa kona zote, hakuna. Usiku imefika, imeenda, kumekucha. The following day, the girls are still nowhere to be found. Wazazi wamepaniki, wamepanic mbaya sana. So of course, askari wamejulishwa nini? Msako ikaanza huko, mapatrol ni nini, nini? Askari wanaenda kwa nyumba door to door, door to door. Wakiuliza bana kuna wasichana wawili wamepotea hapa, bana mnaweza kuwa mmewaona, mnaweza kuwa Fortunately or unfortunately, hao askari wakafika kwa nyumba ya nani? George Stini. George Stini at the time ni Stini. No, iko na double n. So hiyo ni Stini. George Stini at the time ni mkijana wa 14 years, of course anaishi na wazazi. So askari wakauliza wazazi bana kuna tu, kuna wasichana tumepoteza Betty and June, wasichana wadogo sana wazungu. Mnaweza kuwa mmewaona mmewasikia mahali fulani. Of course wazazi hawajui, hawajakutana na wasichana. Wakaambia askari, "Ai, ah, ah, sisi hawa wasichana hatujawaona. Tunawajua, lakini kuwaona rosa fi hatujawaona." George Stini, kijana wa miaka 14, miketi pale kando. Ye yeah, anakumbuka vizuri akitoka shughuli zake alikutana nao kwa field. Na sababu ni kijana mpole, kijana mnyenyekevu, ako na roho ya kusaidia. Akajitolea akasema afande, kusema ukweli, mimi nilikuwa natoka shughuli zangu na nikakutana na hao wasichana wakicheza mahali kwa field. Pengine mkienda mkiangalia kwa hiyo field mnaweza pata eh, solutions. Askari wakamuuliza tena, "Wewe hey, uliwaona eh? Hey, walikuwa na nani? Walikuwa tu peke yao." Okay. Na ukawaacha tu ukaenda. Eh, nikawaacha mimi nikaenda shughuli zangu. Eh. Okay. Haya, wacha tuende tu pige pige upekuzi upekuzi investigations alafu tutawaarifu. Ah, sasa sawa. Na maafisa wakaenda. Barely 24 hours later, maafisa wamekuja na fujo. Wanagonga mlango huko wanataka kuvunja. Eh, wazazi wa 60 wanafungua na shindwa. Eh, rada. Wanaambiwa, "Eh, nini rada saa ngapi? Wewe kaa kando. Wewe George kuja hapa." Unatuuia wasichana wetu wekwa kafs pap pap pigwa pingu very fast kimbizwa ndani eh hey, wazazi wanashindwa aje tena huyu jamaa wenu mtoto wenu ameua wasichana wawili bana amewatupa sijui wapi huko leo lazima atuambie ametupa hawa wasichana wapi na mambo yake tumemaliza eh hey, wakajaribu wazazi wakajaribu wakajaribu kueleza aki huyu kijana alipita tu akawaacha Angekuwa aliwafanyia kitu mbaya, angekuwa mjinga kuwaambia ati niliwaona ni si angenyamazia tu. Alikuwa anawaambia sababu alikuwa amewaona na akawaacha wakiwa sawa. Sasa mnamwadhibu, mnampanish sababu alijaribu kusaidia. Askari wazungu hawataki kusikia hiyo mambo. Wakawaambia wewe kwanza tulia, otherwise ukiendelea kuongea hivi tutakufanya mbaya. 
George Stein akafunguliwa mashtaka. For 80 days ilikuwa tu ni kotini out kotini out kotini out actually hata sadani alikuwa anakaa kwa nyumba ilikuwa ni wakimaliza kesi kotini anarudi cell for 80 days wazazi wakajaribu njia zote zile kuhakikisha bana wamesaidia kijana wao kijana wao atoke sababu makosa kama hiyo ni capital offense na capital offense especially kama wewe ni ngozi nyeusi in 1994 south carolina hiyo ni electric chair mti yangu na hapo hakuna cha yeye ah ah you are done so after 80 days ikafika siku ya kesi kukatwa officially the whole courtroom there was not a single black person hata mmoja including wazazi wa George Stini walikuwa wamerushwa nje in the whole jury hakukua na ngozi nyeusi hata moja sababu gani for you to be part of the jury you needed to be legible ama ni eligible eligible to vote for you to be eligible to vote you needed to be white so kama wewe ni mtu mweusi ama ni mtu wa juu race gani hiyo wewe si mzungu uwezi vote na kama uwezi vote hauwezi participate kwa jury duty so george stini gusi yake was cooked already sababu nobody in that courtroom alikuwa anatakia huyu kijana mweusi walikuwa tayari washambandika hiyo jina yende shetani makarao wakakuja bana kutestify wako na evidence oh uliwapea wako na witnesses oh uliwapea kuna kitu yoyote kabisa inaweza place huu kijana kwa scene of crime anything hata kama ni mate mliokota ma anything inaweza weka huu kijana kwa scene of crime mahali wasichana walikufia nothing the only thing waaskari walikuwa nayo ni yuaona can cheat can die huu mtu ni muizi believe it or not can cheat can die iliweka huyo kijana kwa electric chair After two and a half hours ya kusikiza mashtaka George Stini was found guilty on the offense of first degree murder on two counts ya Betty na ya June sent straight to the electric chair the boy was so tiny he was only 40 kgs mtoto mdogo wa miaka 14 hizo time alikuwa amekaa jela amekonda huko hata ajiwezi The boy was so tiny kutoshea kwa electric seat ilikuwa ni shida. The match between his cell to the electric chair alibeba bibilia sababu yeye alikuwa anajua yeye ako innocent. Hakuwahi confess to anyone despite the fact that makarao wali insist the boy confessed to the murders. It was a lie. Alibeba bibilia yake amekoma yeye na Mungu wake. Hiyo bibilia ndio waliitumia kama prop wakam prop waliweka chini ndio aikalie atoshee vizuri kwa ile kiti wakamfunga wakamfunga ile face mask wakamstrap kwa kiti na wakampiga stima mara ya kwanza the, the jolts were so violent kila kitu ikatoka face mask ikatoka and you could see the horror in the boy's face akijua vizuri mzee anakufa for nothing died an innocent man so wakampiga jolts zingine mbili za stima and he was pronounced dead on the spot wacha ni wachokeshe years later very many years later i think huku ma 2000 and something after miaka karibu sabini the person who did it alijitokeza akiwa msik mzee kwa deathbed yake akasema mzee in 1944 nilishika wasichana wawili nikawafanya mbaya na nikawaua two very young girls ngori zangu zikageuziwa kijana mweusi anaitwa George Stini mazena tukamwangalia akienda kwa electric chair kuumia kukufa sababu ya makosa hajafanya believe it or not among the people on the jury the people who sent this young guy to die on the electric chair was a family member of mine who knew exactly who had killed those girls alijua mimi ndio nimetuma hao wasichana wawili lakini akiwa kwa hiyo jury alikaa chini na akaangalia mtu innocent akienda kuuawa 
So hata mimi nikiwa mtu mbaya kuna watu wabaya kama mimi. Eh, nilikuwa tunataka kabla nikufe niwaambie hivyo. Sababu ya confessions za huyo mzee, kesi ya George Stein ilifunguliwa tena posthumously na akakuwa declared eh, akakuwa ni need innocent. But it was 70 years too late. Alikuwa shaga dunia 1944 at the tender age of 14 years. The injustices in this world. <sighs> On that sad note, nafunga kipindi hapa wadao. Kama imekubamba, wewe kuja na mbogi watu wasikie story wa furai. Zingine ziwakwaze kama hii story ya George Stini. Na ikiwa bamba zaidi, kuja ni na mbogi pia wafanye mambo yao pale pia sisi tusikie sasa. Kama namna gani wadao. Na watambua sana. Nyinyi ni wa true. God our bless sana. Adios muchachos. Peace. It's home time. It's home time. Tanga nyobani, nyobani, nyobani. Ooh.